Hi, this is Heath with FinalDriveParts.com again, and this is just another installment in our helpful tip series here that we want to show you some common problems again that we have with machines and questions we get from our customers. What we're going to cover today is called the case drain filter. Most final drives, I would say about 90% of them or more, all have a return line to the tank, and on that return line there's supposed to be a filter. So we're going to look over some filters that just happen to come off a Bobcat machine just for general reference purposes. So the first thing you want to do is locate your case drain filter. And on some of your machines, it looks like this. It's a little silver canister style filter with an element on the inside. As you can see, I'll unscrew this one and show you here. Now the element goes in there. Now as you can see, that is dirty. It's not completely filthy, but this is a 10 micron filter, so it, it would need to be changed. Now in stream circumstances, what you'd be looking at is something like this. This is a catastrophic failure of the final drive. And as you can see, you don't want this in your hydraulic system. Very disgusting, very uh, costly on repairs. What the filter is supposed to look like when it's clean is this right here. Nice, clean filter. So, what you want to do is locate the case drain line, which is going to be the small line right next to your two high pressure and low pressure line, your in and out return lines. So when you follow that back into the machine, you're either going to come to a canister style filter like this, which takes this gold element, or you're going to come to a big valve block that goes back to another canister style filter like this. The easiest way to find out which one you have is to call and ask your dealer. What the symptoms are of this, if the case drain filter is clogged, one thing you will notice is that your cover plate will either crack, blow off, or damage. This is a sign that the hydraulic fluid is leaking from the back of the drive to the front of the drive. Also, you'll get a leak like we talked about before in our last videos between the face seal and the hub. It goes, the fluid goes to the weakest point. So if your face seal is already wore out, like as you can see, this one is way wore out, the fluid is going to start leaking from behind the sprocket. Sprocket goes here. It's going to start leaking behind the sprocket. So the first thing you want to check is make sure your case drain filter is clean and the lines are unclogged. Two points. <laughs> But anyways, you just want to make sure your line's clean, your filter's clean, and if that's done, that should take care of your problem. You should have nice, smooth operation from your drive. I want to thank you again. My name is Heath. I'm with FinalDriveParts.com. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below if there's a video you'd like to see. Or if you have any questions, please call us at 1-888-9-FINALS.